to get a haircut. What do you have in mind? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fine. Yep. Thanks for stopping by. Lucky miss!
Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. You pissed off the wrong cop, maggot. No, you got the wrong guy, man. I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. <gasps> what are you gonna do to me? I'm putting your ass in the cage. You here for the ride along? Jump in. Ride along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Fine. I got a pal on the ground we're gonna go see. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor or a writer or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal and your boss has kinda sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're great. Who we got over by the oil derricks? My man! I'll give him a scan. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll follow in the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD! It's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Try your package. Got no care. The stupid boxes. Years on the job and all they care we about is the bottom line. Yet. Guess who's getting a work-related injury and suing your ass for six figures? I got you, you creep. It's a free country. I know my rights. It's him! You got him! She showed it all! She wanted me to look! You're a very sick man. Keep telling yourself that. She wanted it. If we she ain't wanted it, it, why are you sneaking around? Punch the creep! That's the buzz. You're both getting off on this. Come in, Franklin. Suspect's not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of there. Roger that. I think... Alright, 
look cool. We looking for his lockup, dog. All right, stay on him and look out. Roger that.
This car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's the egg. I mean, ah! Oh. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. 
You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. I feel horrible. Hello? Careful! You have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. <laughs> the truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as five thousand dollars. Five thousand? What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world, because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top-quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. <laughs> 